hello friends welcome back to my new video today we will see about how to deal with clock in google sheet so i have already prepared one sheet where date time and other information is available so we are going to understand that how we can prepare this clock so first let me do setting so that the clock gets updated automatically so we have to go to let me show it once again we have to go to file spreadsheet settings go to the calculation so here you can see that my time zone is india 530 gmt plus 530 go to the calculation and here you have to select under recalculation select as on change and every minute right so that whatever formulas we are using uh, will be you no know, information will be updated at every minute or whenever there is any change in data it will be updated so you can see that it's going to affect to these google sheet functions so let's save the settings we have done this setting so that as we are progressing if there is any change in the time this will be updated automatically right so this is one thing we want to achieve plus these are the things we want to achieve if you are working as a freelancer or maybe you are working in an organization where you are part of different projects where clients are part of different countries and you have to deal with them and you want to keep watch on the time right so you can easily do that by creating such google sheets so you can see that here we have uh, the clock for five countries where oh, this is of india and we have clock for usa australia switzerland and uk so we are going to see that how we can create this clock okay so first let us understand that how we can create the clock and we can also display the date information right so the google sheet has formula called now so let us write that now if i hit enter key it will display what is the date and times so that's actually time stamp now let us understand right how many characters are there in the date part and how many characters are there in the time part so you can see that there are uh, you know, here we have leading zero but it's not displayed so two characters for day two characters for month and four characters for year so four plus two plus two total eight plus we have two characters for this stroke so there are total 10 characters for date part in same way for the time part we can see that there are total two plus two plus two that's for hours minute and second six characters plus two characters for this column so there are total eight characters so we are going to use this uh, in uh, you know, extracting the information so let us see that what we need to write if i want to extract the date part right so there is a you can see that the date part is on the left hand side so there is a formula called left so i take left from this value Right. as i said that we have to take 10 characters right so if i write this we can easily get the date part from this timestamp in same way let us try to get the time value right so now you can see that here we have to do use right of this and we have to take eight characters right so you can see that we are able to get even seconds also now we don't want to get seconds so we have to drop those two characters so how we can do that so now whatever result is available here from that we can fetch one two three four five characters and these are on the left hand side so let us write that here left of this and take five characters as you can see that we are able to 
get the timestamp which has only hours and minutes so this is exactly what we have done here right so you can see that the formula is we get the timestamp using now and from left hand side we take 10 characters and for getting the time first we take eight characters from the left hand side and whatever result we are getting from that get five characters from the left hand side and we can get this time value and once this is done right you can easily decorate it using whatever format you want so selected merging two cells and then you can give it some background color some foreground color and then we can increase its uh, font size desired font size so that we can see it a bigger font so this is what we have to do in order to display the time value now the next part is to get the clock of other countries so let us see that uh, first try to understand that what is the clock difference between india and usa let us write it india versus usa time difference we can read it india is 9 hours and 30 minutes ahead of washington dc usa it means that usa is 9 hours 30 minutes behind india time so it is behind india time so that's we are writing as negative minus 9 hours 30 minutes right in same way let us see for say australia india versus australia time difference right so it is 4 hours 30 minutes ahead of india which means that we need to write 4 hours 30 minutes it's a positive right now what we are going to do that for india also we have written 0 hours 0 0 minutes 0 0 second and this is what we are going to add into the result of the now you can see it here our previous formula was now right now we are adding value of b1 which is actually time difference between two countries here it's a difference between india and india so obvious it is zero so we are adding this into result of now in same way for the time also we have added result of this p1 into result of now in same way we can do it for other countries so as i said that usa time is 9 hours 30 minutes behind india time so i've taken is negative minus 9 hours 30 minutes 0 0 second australia is 4 hours 30 minutes ahead of india time so i've taken it positive switzerland is 3 hours 30 minutes uh, behind india time same way uk is 4 hours uh, 30 minutes behind india time so in this way we can easily uh, get the time of desired country now we can validate it the current uh, say the time for say switzerland let us see switzerland time right now it is 6:03 pm saturday you can see it 6:03 pm and you see it in india it's the 11th september but in australia it is 12th september right now so let us validate that also what is australia time right now as you can see it here it is sunday 12 september 2021 Right, so it's not today it's a Saturday, but in Australia it is Sunday. Time is 2.03. So this in this way, if we have clock of different countries, right, we can easily keep watch on time when we are in some meeting, we are uh, discussing with our clients, and we have to keep watch on time, our time as well as clients' time. 
you can easily do this using Google Sheets. So this is very useful. Thanks for watching this video.